Hello there, my name is Jim Henson and I'm a puppeteer. Sesame Street. The Muppets. Dark Crystal. Labyrinth. Jim created out of innocence. He showed people the good in all of us. Is this a nine to five job? <laughs> yeah, it's every, every moment of one's life kind of job, those things. Why are there so many songs about rainbows? And what's on the other side? From a very early age, he had the feeling that he was here for a purpose. Holy. Characters come about from many different ways. It was my mother's coat and a ping pong ball. That's how it all started. He had so many ideas and so many things he wanted to do. His inner life must have been sparkling. The space he gave to an expression of imagination, I see that in everything that he did. I love you. I love you too. I think. nothing that Jim didn't entertain. And everything was getting a little bit bigger. Becoming famous was what he wanted, that there was an innocence getting lost. Was gonna impact his relationship with us and everything that was complex. He wanted to do more than is humanly possible. That, that idea that time could run out was just unthinkable. If Jim was here, I just have to thank him. It's time to play the music. It's time to light the lights. This, this is an incredible documentary from Ron Howard, people. Ron Richie Cunningham Howard. Like one of the most amazing directors of our lifetime. Um, and it's all about a man who brought generosity and creativity and encouraged it in everybody, in, in everyone that he worked with and everyone that he saw. It's it's amazing. This is formative stuff of my childhood and hopefully many you know childhoods to come. Just just those opening moments, right? Jim Henson's voice is iconic because of him and Kermit the Frog and and their their near symbiotic relationship is glorious and reflected, of course, in the documentary, but also all of the other work that he's responsible for. I loved The Dark Crystal, and I loved the prequel series that popped up on Amazon, which is BT Dubs. Um, when I learned that he created, you know, his creature shop, I became just fascinated by the work that they were doing, where they would pop up in films. Um, the fact that right at the very beginning, Frank Oz was too young to work with him. He was still a high school student when he wanted to start work with Jim Henson. And when he graduated, obviously got the job. Uh, and they went on to have like a creative professional partnership that lasted the rest of Jim's life. And I mean, they're fucking Bert and Ernie, man. Amazing. They're, they're fuzzy and Kermit. And it all started um, in Jim wanting to be creative and working with his wife and and finding an opportunity to get what became a piano playing dog to sell some ads and to get on some tonight shows mate oh this is delightful and for mine every minute of its hour 48 running time is a love letter to a man who transformed uh, entertainment and education and not just for children and yet especially for children the fact that um, Sesame Street has its longevity is in no small part to the creativity of Jim Henson and his team and the fact that they 
uh, were engaged so deeply in the early years of Sesame Street and the children's television workshop, but it, that it wasn't his baby, that he was a part of it, but he didn't he didn't want to say have control over it. Um, the 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 pinball thing, if you've watched Sesame Street, where it fires off the one, two, three, four, and you can't learn how to count to twelve, the Pointer Sisters sing that song. Amazing. When it would come up with a number seven or nine or whatever, it would then go to some short film doing something about that number. We learn in the documentary, it's all Jim. It was Jim's idea for the animation. And then each of those 12 different little short films that came about those numbers, all Jim. And he acted in them sometimes. Like he wrote them. It was his desire to be creative and to do something different and interesting and, and obtuse and push boundaries and be more than just the guy with the Muppet, but also to be the guy with the Muppet, which, of course, he and his wife created and coined as this combination of marionettes and puppets. No one had done it before they did. And now Mupp Muppetry as a skill and as an art form is everywhere in film and television and entertainment, and it is absolutely stunning. Um, Jim Henson was, and it hurts so deeply to say was, but was a genius, is an icon, and remains a creative hero of mine, that we should all be encouraged to grasp onto our ideas as Jim Henson did. Man, the world would be just that bit kinder and compassionate and a bit more gentle. And I mean, who doesn't want that? Honestly, in the midst of all of the craziness and all of the other stuff that flies around, this is compelling and delightful and heart-wrenching. And it doesn't paint Jim to be perfect by any sense of the word. Um, some of the people that are in uh, this incredible documentary, uh, Jim's wife, uh, Jane, and their entire family, uh, including Brian, who now runs um, all of his empire. Um, Fran Brill, Jennifer Connolly, Dave Goles, Rita Moreno, Carol Spinney, and the incredible Frank Oz. Just reflecting on their time with Jim and everything that it meant. And it's glorious. And I, I just cannot recommend it highly enough to you. Um, Find the two hours, sit down with a pack of your favorite, whatever, you know, things to eat, whack on Disney Plus and watch Jim Henson Idea Man and reflect for a moment at what this guy did and how it changed all our lives for the better. Phenomenal. Jim Henson Idea Man, an hour 48 running time. It's available in full right now on Disney Plus. Guys. Do what the pig says and uh, go and find a Kermie.